Hi there, Jamie Keith here tonight at Teachers Tech. Hope everyone's having a fantastic night. Tonight I want to take a look at a new feature in Google Forms and that is the self-grading quiz on it. So this is a great little feature to have if you use things like Flubrew before. Uh, now it's built into Google Forms. So let's go through and look at how you can use this great feature in the new Google Forms. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up a Google Forms here. So I'm just in my Google Drive, all logged in and everything, and I'm just going to go to New, More, and Google Forms. When I get to this point here, you'll see Google Forms in the standard purple template that uh, opens up. If you want to real quickly change the color uh, to something else, I'll just pick this bright color here. Uh, you could uh, then start from there. Where So this is all about the quizzes here. So when you want to switch this over to a quiz, we just click the gear up top and you can see that you get this quiz. This you didn't used to be here. So if I go to quizzes over here, all I have to do is click make this a quiz. So I'm going to go ahead and click it and you have a few different options here. So you can see uh, when I can release the grade, do I want to release it right after the submission? So that means when they click on it, when they submit it, uh, do they do you want to see the results or maybe you want to do something and uh, give the results after if that's the case make sure you have this selected instead uh, do you want to show them any missed questions that they have uh, make sure that's checked correct answers if you they got something wrong do you want to show them the correct answer on it and the point values to each so you can actually pick what point values you want for each questions so I'm just gonna leave all these on here uh, then I'll show you once I create my uh, little quiz here and grade it to show you how these kind of play into it so I'm just gonna to go ahead and hit, uh, and hit save here. I'll just give this a title on top of my quiz here. I'll just go, uh, I'll say test, uh, test one here. And uh, what I'm going to do is create three different questions on this one to show you the three different ways you can create your, uh, your graded quiz here. So I'm going to click on this here and uh, what you notice is multiple choice is selected here and the difference is right now uh, since I have quiz on you can see there's an answer key on it right here. So I'm just going to make up a question. I'll say how many uh, days in a week. I'll just keep this pretty simple here and then I'll put some random, I'll put uh, seven, I'll add another, I'll just add a few under different one, six, and I'll add one more quickly. And then, oops, I better not do seven again, I'll put eight. And uh, so at this point, what I can do is click on answer key here. So when I click on the answer key, all I have to do is select which one I think, uh, which one I know is correct. So I'm just going to uh, pick seven here and you can see the check mark goes across on it. This is right here, up here is how many points I want to give it. So maybe I want to give this one, I'll just keep these at one point, uh, one point each. But you can change these on uh, easy enough just by uh, changing this number here, adjusting it here. Uh, the other thing I'm going to show you on each question, you also have a chance to add feedback here. So what the feedback is, so if they get an incorrect answer, maybe you could give some information to why their question is in incorrect and they get that response. Or if they have a correct answer, maybe you want to write something, um, you know, giving them uh, some extra uh, information on it or maybe it's just a good job thing on it and you can also add a link to it uh, with text to display uh, optional so I'm not going to do any of these on this one here but I'll just hit cancel and I'm going to add a, another question here just by hitting the plus sign here and this time I'll just say how many hours in a day and uh, I'll just get rid of that small Y here. And then so this time I'm going to make this checkbox. So the only ones this does work on are these three right here. So the multiple choice checkbox in the drop down. So I'll make this a checkbox and I'll just put uh, some random stuff here for and 24 and pick another one. I'll pick uh, 87 and again, uh, just go to your answer key, select which one uh, the answer is make sure that's selected here and uh, I'm gonna add one more question here and this time I'm gonna do the drop down on this one and I'll just say how many how many weeks in a year and then this time I'll just put uh, let's go 34 50. 52 and I'll just do this quick and one all right so again answer key pick my 52 uh, make sure I give points to all these ones here so you can see I'll put each to one so it's going to be a possible of three points on this test here and I'm just going to go ahead and hit uh, hit my preview here so I hit preview and uh, you get your test here and I'm just going to quickly and do this so I'll get some wrong in this one so how many days in a week I'll go seven how many hours in a day I'll pick four 
how many weeks of the year and I'll pick 52. I'm going to submit this now. And right away, uh, since we had uh, those uh, check boxes on, you can see that you can view your score or you can spit another response here. But if I hit view my, view my score, uh, you can see the ones I get right here. And then this one, since I had shown me the correct answer, uh, it showed me the correct answer on here, even though I got this wrong here. I'm just going to go back uh, over uh, to my main edit sheet here. And then if I go over to uh, my quizzes again, I just wanted to show you again, this is where those that gave me the option to uh, change it, what was seen after. Uh, on this one here, I can go to my responses. You can see uh, there, there's a possible three points on this one. You can see uh, the average two out of three points since I've only had one person enter this one. And you can, it gives you the information about each question. So as you had more students do each one, you'll see these change. You can also look at this as a summary. So you can go through it and looking at it uh, student by student. When you, create your, um, when you create your quiz, you have that option of putting the student's name or you have to stu make the student's name required where they could put their email address. So then under responses, you're gonna see their name on it um, at the top there too. So uh, this has been just a little walkthrough here of uh, actually one more thing here. I just wanna show you the, um, uh, on the spreadsheet, if we create the spreadsheet here, I'm gonna hit create and you're going to see the responses how it goes into the score here um, as the fraction here goes through uh, what was answered uh, in this one and what the score is here so it, to, if you want to record it in your uh, grade sheet so uh, with this one as i was saying before the only options are those three on it uh, but maybe they'll add more it may be give more choices with a short answer in the paragraph form but for now this is definitely a start to give some uh, good marking quick marking grades give some uh, feedback to your students here i hope you like this little tutorial tonight on this tip and this new feature in google forms if you have give it a thumbs up or share it with some people because i think it could be a handy thing in the classroom here so uh, if you liked what you see please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time